All right, guys, today we're going to be reacting to five German character traits I really respect. Important video here. I think these are going to be great traits that we as an individual, not as a country, as an individual, we should all acquire. If they are good traits, we should acquire them. If they are horrendous bad traits, they can go down to drain because I'm not going to even include them in my lifestyle. But if they are good traits, I'll be the first one to say, let's just get them. Let's jump in and see what's going on. There are certain characteristics that, in general, many German people seem to have in common. They seem to be part of a national attitude. In this video, I'm going to talk about five traits and characteristics of Germans that I have really come to respect and admire. Some of them are smaller, more trivial things, but some are deeper. In fact, the last point on this list is pretty intense and could be considered uh, controversial. However, here, I think man. it's an we important it. thing to point out. We can't handle so, it here are five characteristics of Germans I really respect. Having a high standard of excellence. You know, the most Let's respected That's the made good in one. tag in the world of any country is this, the made in Germany tag. Very good trick. I Whether it's something physical that you make that's... Hold up. Hold up. We're going to write it down. We're starting today. We are starting today. Oh. We're starting today. When we have good, good stuff, we write it down. That's what high standard people do. In one second here, folks, because this thing just got kind of crazy. I think my girls got this crazy. Great ah, Yep. Yep. Uh, I love my daughters. Sometimes they can be kind of cray cray. High standard of excellence. That's what he said, right? Number one. Whether it's something physical that you make that's world-class, like German cars or German houses that are built and are meant to last a lifetime, or things that you don't physically make, that you can't physically touch, what comes to mind for me is a German friendship. Germans are typically slow to call somebody a friend, and that is because there's a high standard of excellence when it comes to friendship as well. Man, don't film me when I'm just outside like when I'm picking. There's a great example. My good friend Nico Bang. He has a high standard of excellence and only wants to be filmed when he is performing in an excellent manner. There you go, Bang. There's Nico's excellent tackle. Uh, there's this standard of excellence that Germans have in many different aspects of life, and I don't even think Germans necessarily realize that they have it. But it is a common trait for people in this country, and it's something that I really respect and admire. So I played college football in the United States for four years, and this is a world where you have practices, lifting sessions, training sessions, meetings, all throughout the week on a very tight schedule. And we are taught during that time that being on time is being 10 minutes early. And this is something that I really value. Nothing bothers me more. Well, I'm sure there's things that bother me more, but this bothers me a lot when people are late to mm -hmm. things. Oh, and yeah, this is a, a very yep. rare thing in Germany. Yeah, German uh, people are... That's, I had to be guilty of that because I used to be like that. Late to stuff, very late, not respecting time, not anymore. Not anymore. I'm the first one in on the meeting and the last one getting out of the meeting. Yep. World famous for being on time and punctual. This is something that I absolutely love about German people. This is a characteristic that I really value. Now the Deutsche Bahn the last couple of years, this might be a different story. Hey, we have the Being MTA, late man. is wasting everyone's time. We have the MTA in New York City, man. 
this is a two or three minutes late. It's not that bad, but the MTA can be five hours late, man. And I love the way that our coaches in college would explain this. Say we have a meeting that has 45 people in it and you're one minute late to that meeting. You just wasted 45 minutes of Crazy, people's huh? time. Crazy. And this is how I always think about this. And I really value that's being a, on nice time, which means being five to 10 minutes early for everything. And this is something that I very much admire about German people. It's Look at all these people. They probably have no idea how much they're missing out by not using CyberGhost VPN. Oh, I got you, I bro. I tell them uh, that if they use the link in my description, they can get free paying well, Back sorry, to the bro. video. Planning and preparing for things. Now, if you watched my previous video about the trip in Scotland with my girlfriend, Laura, you will have heard me go on and on about the German characteristic of planning and preparing for things. And Germans really have this reputation of not really leaving things up to chance, but figuring out how things are gonna go out and plan for what could happen, what you expect to happen, and preparing for things that maybe you don't even expect to happen. For most of my life, I've been more of the, hey, let's kind of just feel you it out and it, let's wing thing. it yeah. and see how it I is the, the day same thing, of. Man, I used to be the same thing, and I need to still work on that because I think I have problem with action, right? So instead of just me planning, I would just get that muscle, action muscle out of the way because if I, st I started planning, I would not do it, right? It's like it's YouTube. Like when I started my YouTube career, thinking about it too much, man, I just started recording. And I think later on, I started preparing a little bit better, right? So good trade, good trade, by the way, good trade of sort of mentality and in certain aspects i still am like this but i have taken note of the german way of planning and preparing for things and i've implemented that more and more into good. my life good trait. yeah just Very overall good in general the way that germans seem to think ahead and plan things out is something yeah. i really admire Let's go. Now, I've talked about this quite a bit before in previous videos, but the mentality when it comes to a work-life balance for people in work this country. I made a whole video balance. about it going into more detail last fall called Why I Decided to Work Like a German, and that goes into a little bit more detail on it. But in short, German people are very good at working hard, being efficient and productive when it's time to work, and then stopping and resting and balance. recharging when it's time to relax. And the thing is, Germans are pretty world famous for being productive and efficient. So this recharging Good and work-life balance doesn't seem to take away and from we need to learn German a little efficiency bit of this or statement. Man, sometimes we, we just work too much, man. We work too much. I have to admit, we do work too much. We work too much. Things that we don't like. But I, I think it is what it is, right? Maybe in the future, it would, it would change a little bit. Productivity at culturally, all. In fact, right? a uh, study showed first. that it actually helps it. So this is something that I really admire, this trait and this attitude towards a work-life balance where you are working hard and productive, but you also are a human being and you rest and recover. Really admire the attitude that Germans have when it comes to this. <laughs> So this one could be a little bit controversial, but I think it's important. And I, I've mentioned versions of this in the past, but the thing that I really admire uh, about Germans is the balance and approach that people in this country have when facing and talking about this country's dark past. Every single country has a dark past. And I think some do a better job at handling it than others. And I think Germany sort of leads the world in that aspect. And there's a balance to doing this. There's a little bit of nuance when approaching a subject as delicate as this. And what I admire about Germany is the way that they do such a good job of educating their population on what happened during World War II and the Holocaust, studying it, having museums and statues and memorials and leaving up concentration camps that people mm. can visit, having all of that be a part of society and education. While at the same time, 
not making modern day Germans who had nothing to do. That's a hard one. That's, that's a hard one. I'm going to admit that's a hard one because teachers, especially the teachers, they all have their own agenda, right? Unless you make this a, like a law where you cannot have your opinion. You can only state when it comes down to history, you can only state historical facts, right? And still, still, that, that that's going to bring problems, right? Like With this feel guilty personally about it. This is an important balance. You must educate because those who do not know the past are doomed to repeat it. But then you must also have a sense of moving forward and yeah, not forcing a population to feel a guilt forever based on their ancestors' actions. Uh, of course, you're gonna have some people on both ends of the extremes, you know, who people who say, you know what, stop talking about this in schools. We don't even need to educate people about it. Just forget it and don't talk about it. That's stupid. And then you have people on the other side that are saying, no, everyone, modern day Germans need to feel badly for this. And if you're a German, this is your fault. Also stupid. It's very important to find the nuanced middle, and I think Germany does a great job of that. And what makes me admire this even more is the fact that I think my own country does not do a good job Brendan, of this. Like wrong. most of the other countries in the world, my country also has a dark past, but we struggle to find the nuanced way of approaching it and dealing with it in the way that Germany does. In the United States, the land of extremes, we love taking everything <laughs> to the extreme. The land of Your extremes. Your approach is either, <laughs> you know, slavery actually wasn't that bad and uh, we don't even really need to talk about it. Like, enough, just don't even talk about it. That's stupid. And then you've got people on the other side that say, if you are a white person, you should personally feel guilty for slavery. Stupid. Also stupid. There is, Super like stupid. Germany I mean, has successfully found, a nuanced middle where you properly educate your population about its dark past that its country has, while also not making modern day people who had nothing to do with said dark past feel guilty about their yeah, existence good point, man. today. Good point. Very I good. am always impressed and admire the way modern day Germans speak about World War II. Oh, well, because they have to. I'm going to keep it honest because they have to. They have no other options. They have to step it up. And then stepping it up is a great example of how much you can accomplish as a country. Right? So there's no excuses. No excuses at all. So a bad pass doesn't mean that you need to have a, a bad result. Right? This is very good. Nice video, man. So let's... Oh, my, my bad. Let's recap. Five German traits... The first one, high standard, high standard for excellence. Next one, be on time. Next one is planning and preparing for trips. Work-life balance. And lastly, talk about the past without new ones. I think those are great, great, great traits. Amazing traits. I think we all, actually as individuals, especially me, are going to just remind me of those great traits because they are great traits. They're not bad. Not bad at all. I'm very happy that I reacted to this video and I learned a couple things here in my notebook. We're going to have that uh, written down there just to make sure we can just get it through my head. Great video, guys. Let me know what you guys think in this comment section below. Let me know what you guys think about those traits and how inherent those traits are on you. If you're American, let me know. If you're from Germany, let me know. In the meantime, guys, I will see you in the next one.